Hi guys, uh, welcome to week, week six of Adventures in Competing. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit more about my diet and my supplements, mostly my supplements since uh, I kind of cut it short uh, the first time I was talking about it. Um, this past week I felt a heck of a lot better, um, up my calories, uh, a little bit more carbs, but I wouldn't say too much. They're just uh, timed well after my workouts. And um, still doing just as much cardio and everything. Feel so, so, so much better. And um, one thing that I had problems with this week was my gut health. It was horrible, and uh, you certainly wouldn't want to be around me. Um, I haven't been smelling very good. <laughs> And um, I kind of did a little bit of an elimination diet, and I think um, actually the first thing I eliminated happened to be what the problem was. And believe it or not, um, whitefish. Um, every time I eat it, my gut's just like I am in so much pain, and uh, I get bloated and everything. So the only things I had added to my diet were whitefish. I had changed um, the flavor of BCAAs I was taking. And um, I had tried a different pre-workout. So I started by eliminating the fish. And, and then I was going to, um, if that didn't work, I was going to change my uh, pre-workout. If that didn't work, I was going to try and go back to my old BCAAs. But um, the fish kind of did the trick. So that, uh, that's super nice because I hate it anyway. So um, it's going to be a little bit harder to lose weight I think uh, or I won't be able to eat the amount of food because um, kind of that's that's kind of why I add fish because you can eat more and feel full when you're on a deficit blah 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 so uh, I'm gonna have to replace that with chicken or beef so which means a little bit less food but um, I don't I don't like fish anyway so that works out perfect anyways um, so on to supplements um, I basically, everything I take is basically either for energy, uh, managing insulin, or managing cortisol. And um, that's basically it. So um, just to kind of break it down a little bit, um, to manage and to manage inflammation. <laughs> and uh, you kind of manage inflammation through insulin and cortisol and everything so so it all kind of works together so for managing insulin I take uh, vitamin C vitamin E uh, sometimes some probiotics and vitamin D and for cortisol I it's also vitamin C uh, fish oils which also help with the inflammation vitamin D uh, zinc and magnesium and um, Basically, cortisol is, we think of it as a bad thing because cortisol is known for like the belly fat and everything, but cortisol is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's uh, high, you have high levels of cortisol in the morning and also um, your workouts stimulate cortisol. And um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it gives you energy during your workout and um, you, you need that, but um it's when it's elevated for long periods of time that it becomes a problem and it starts um, putting your, um, starts to break down muscle and puts you in a catabolic state basically and it depletes your vitamin C and vitamin D. So hence the reason um, you got to take that to kind of counterbalance it and it also causes inflammation. So. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, you just don't want it elevated for long periods of time. And that is actually the reason that you take in carbs after a workout because um, carbohydrates um, basically stop your levels of cortisol, like they diminish it, if that makes any sense. So that's the pretty much the whole point of taking, um, you're just managing um, or I should explain it a little bit different. Actually, it's insulin that stops cortisol, and the carbohydrates are what makes your insulin levels go up. So that's a better explanation of why you take the carbs after your workouts. 
Um, speaking of carbs, I'm actually, uh, since I'm starting to deplete, uh, not deplete, to um, be in a deficit, I'm not taking any carbs before my workouts anymore. I'm only taking them when they're earned after my workouts. Um, I have one right after my workout and then two meals after, but just small amounts of carbs. Anyways, so I thought I would start with my morning regime, which you already know is my greens drink. And since I've been having trouble with my gut, I put a full full tablespoon of fiber in with my greens drink, and it's making a world of difference. Way, way, way more regular. So the greens drink is for inflammation and to alkanize your body. And I also take, since I'm not taking carbs in the morning anymore, I take my fish oils in the morning, and I also take them in the evening when I'm doing my fat meals, car um, protein and fat meals I do in the morning and the evening. So um, that's when I take in my fish oils because um, if you have carbs and insulin in your system and then you add fat to your system, um, insulin is a storage hormone. So whatever is in your bloodstream at that point or in your body at that point is going to be stored. So... Um, um, I don't want any fat in <laughs> in my system when I have insulin going around. And uh, that's also why you have your carbs post-workout because that makes your insulin go up and that's when you want to store carbs. You want them to start your recovery process and fill up your glycogen stores and uh, help you with muscle recovery. So that's another reason that you take your carbs in post-workout. Um, so that is my morning regime, is the greens, fish oil, and fiber. I also take my vitamin C and vitamin E in the morning, uh, but I take vitamin C and vitamin E all throughout the day in small doses. Um, so then we come to my workout. Uh, I used to take whey right after my workout, and then I switched it to fish because it's a quick, it's still a quick-acting protein. And now I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do because I want something quick, but I don't want to bring eggs to the gym with me. So um, I kind of have to figure that one out. But normally I have whey, and I'm sorry, I'm looking over here because that's where all my supplements are sitting. Um, then I have a pre-workout. And uh, in my pre-workout, I also put um, a scoop of creatine. I take two scoops of creatine every day. Um, Five, so five grams split up and um, I put creatine also in my BCAs during my workout. Um, Pre-workout and post-workout I take L-cartonine. Um, it basically helps your body use fat as energy and um, L-cartonine um, absorbs better if you take it with vitamin C. So I also take it with vitamin C. Um, Within my BCAs, I also put in glutamine. It helps with uh, faster recovery and um, gut health. So that's important for me right now. Um, one thing I should mention about BCAs is they're a lot more important when you're in a calorie deficit. Um, I make sure to use them um, even, especially when you're like low carbs and like you're not bringing in enough calories because it just, it helps you with uh, recovery and it ensures that you have enough leucine to stimulate protein synthesis. So that's, uh, once you, when you're getting tons of protein in and tons of carbs and your body is, uh, has a surplus to use, it's not as important to take BCAAs. So if um, you're trying to stay on a budget, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, too much until you're in a cutting phase and you're on low calories. Um, and then the only things I have left are magnesium and zinc and those were also um, to help with cortisol levels and um, I take those in the evening because they make you sleepy. So don't want to be taking those definitely um, before your workouts or anything just because um, they actually manage cortisol as well. So after workouts, you know, it, it, it's good to kind of get those cortisol levels down. But um, 
but if you don't want to be sleepy at the time, like if you work out first thing in the morning, I just, I save mine for, for the evening. And uh, actually one thing I forgot to mention is vitamin D. I take vitamin D. Almost everyone's deficient in vitamin D, so um, highly, highly recommend. It's not that expensive, um, a great supplement to take. Um, so if you're on a budget, I would say um, vitamin D, fish oil, and uh, like those are really the the, the NBCAAs, um, if you're in a deficit, I think are pretty important. Um, one other thing, this is getting so long again, it gets so long so fast. Um, HCL, um, hydrochloric acid, um, I take it with all my large meals and it helps with uh, vitamin and mineral absorption and um, I take it in the middle of the meal um, and you'll kind of, you should feel a little bit of heat like you just had a warm cup of tea. Um, lots and lots and lots of people are deficient in this. Um, it helps also break down proteins. So I've been taking it with my larger meals and um, just to hopefully absorb more of what I'm taking in. If I'm I'm spending so much money on all this clean food I, I really want my body to be using it so um, so that's what I use the hydrochloric acid for anyways somehow I already got to 11 minutes and I have a couple other things I just uh, show my um, I loved roses um, where she showed her fridge and, um, and stuff like that so I also have a couple little clips quick quick clip clips <laughs> quick clips of that coming up and um, yeah so next week we'll be talking about exercise again and um, I'm in a max lactic phase so uh, burn 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 <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it so uh, we'll talk about that next week and uh, hope you have a wonderful uh, exercise filled week talk to you later bye